Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is kind of a part two follow up to a video from a couple days ago where I was talking about car town to catch you guys up on the past video here. This video, what I ended up doing was basically I got an email from Mediafire saying somebody's trying to log into your account and changed the password to the account not realizing that I had an account underneath a specific email of mine. So changed the password, logged in, and lo and behold, there were the main game files, the preloader and the main SWF for Cartown and Cartown EX that I uploaded in 2013 and completely forgot about. Well, I wanted to make a part two, and today's part two is very interesting in my opinion. I've been doing a lot of digging the last couple days. And as you can see, this says Car Town Downloader. So another thing to catch you up on with that previous video was I discovered that the asset server for the Car Town EX version of the server or of the game is still active. Now you see all these buttons, prize car, prize wheels, UV guide, car XML, hoods, wings, DAE files, that's a really impressive one. Items, body kits, you see all of these buttons here and you see this URL, this extension, the start and finish, the file extension, custom URL if I want to custom download something. I made my own downloader because I was sick of manually downloading stuff. Last night I manually downloaded over 700 files. Tonight I got smart. Now there was one roadblock so far that was stopping me from downloading files. And you see this data link right here. The extension of data. So what that basically is, is we have the main cloud server link, which looks like this. I didn't know what's the main data. Where are the cars? Where is all that stuff? How do I find it? Well, all the cars are here. I didn't know what this was. I couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't referenced in the SWF. It wasn't anywhere. You know what I ended up doing? Really smart idea, I think, in my part. I went on YouTube. <laughs> I went on YouTube and I searched Car Town Fiddler because Fiddler has been around for a very long time. I remember using it myself for hacking Car Town. I know other people that used it for hacking and glitching Car Town. Let's see if anybody's made any videos about hacking Car Town with Fiddler. There's two or three. This was the one that I found. There's also this one. There's some capture web traffic, you know, basic explanations, you know, different games showing cheats using <laughs> uh, Fiddler. But there's only one video that shows Car Town with Fiddler. And that's from this guy, Yak. Uh, I'm not even going to try to butcher that. But as you can see, a 2400 viewed video this is the only video on YouTube that shows both Fiddler and Car Town in the same video. So I got to about a 5 minute and 58 second mark. As you can see here, I got to about this point. Uh, I think it was actually further back. So I got to this point, and as you can see here, it says data six cars. And I went, wait a minute, that's the URL that I need. And I had just this absolute brain blast of this unlocks everything for the server for me. This asset server is still up. I am under a time crunch. I have to download everything. So what did I do? I made a tool and I downloaded everything. Now I did, I made this tool in an absolutely idiotic way. You see, there's a bunch of buttons. You see there's three functions here and a bunch of bu buttons. This tool is stupid. Do not learn from me. <laughs> what I did with this tool is I took my old Racing Rivals tool, where I was downloading assets in a very similar way because the server was set up in a very similar way, and I threw the Racing Rivals file asset downloader code, which was vb.net, into ChatGPT and asked it to convert it to C-sharp. And this is what it gave me. And it worked. 
hundred percent it works. So you know when we run this, the way it basically works is there are multiple extensions here. The extensions being whatever's on the end of this. So there's data, there's static three, and UGG. UGG is like player avatars and stuff like that. Static three is static images like advertisements and stuff like that. Data is exactly what it sounds like. It's the data for the game. So data is all I'm interested in. I've seen a couple different file types in here. The only one that's not listed here, I saw .zip, and that's important here in a moment. From there, this is just a random number uh, climbing loop because these files, give me one second. The files are named numerically, so they can just do a very similar script in the actual game to load the files. So as you can see here, you look at cars, I, basic. So cars, car ID, basic. How does that exactly work? Well, it downloads, it ignores these, and saves the file. And then you end up with basic.zip which you can see here. You end up with these files. Now there are three viewing angles for cars in Cartown. There's front, back, and angle. Angle being the most, uh, the one that I wanted the most because that's the one where you can actually do stuff with the files. So I'm gonna go size and we'll look at the biggest car here. The biggest car here is 1780. These are all SWF files except for the coordinates. The coordinates put the car together. Very similar to how 1320 Legends did it. You can kind of see all the hand in hand stuff here. But as you can see, these files kind of just go on top of each other. So this is the top layer. This goes next. This is basically because the way they do car painting in the game was they hewed the uh, color of the body. This goes next. And then there was your shadow under the car and your windshields. So that's basically how the game worked. Now we have all those. We have the basic make your own like avatar stuff, which right here, you know, there's a skirt, a face, like you could use all this to put a character together. We have the body kits. This stuff is kind of basic. It's not anything to write home about. It's the basic body, as you can see, like this is the uh, woody body for that vehicle. Body kit PNG. Why is the PNG in here? Interesting. Huh. Anyway, you know, this is body kits for the cars, and there are different angles of these kits too. Uh, I have car coordinates. Now, these are interesting because this is for like building a car. As you can see, if I open it in Notepad, eventually, maybe, I guess I'm not allowed. There it goes. This is for like building the car as if, you know, the coordinates are where the parts and stuff go. We have car parts, which didn't download, so I'm guessing it's not on the server. We have flat posters. Flat posters, there's a lot of them. So it's something like that. They're like gold posters you could hang on your garage wall. They're all really small, not really that useful. Car hoods. Uh, again, not exactly the most impressive of things, and I'm sure I'm missing some. There's the Ferrari F40, the headlights and taillights and stuff. We have items. Items are exactly what you think they are. Items for in your garage when you were trying to build your garage. They spin around because you can see them on different angles. I'm skipping low poly because that's important here in a minute. Not much here. This is just like a crate where you could uh, win specific cars out of. That's a really cool thing. I really want to reuse that for like 1320 challenge in some way. There's the car upgrade crates, which I think would be cool to use in challenge. Prize cars. Um, as you can see, it's the thumbnail for like the trolley. Prize items, which again, exactly what it sounds like. These are just thumbnails for winning items that you could put around your garage, signs and stuff like that. Prize wheels. There's a lot of wheels. 
None of which I think I can use, unfortunately. Um, spinning wheels. There were only a couple of these, and I don't understand why, so I guess those aren't really needed. Uh, UV guide. This is exactly what it sounds like. It is a guide. In Cartown, you were able to make custom graphics for your vehicle, and this was a basic guide for like actually mapping it out yourself, and then it would kind of fold itself over. Think of it almost like paper craft. Actually a pretty cool thing. And then car wings. Uh, this is like also exactly what you think it is. These are the wings that would go on the vehicle. Spoilers and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Why does this one have PNGs? Some of them have PNGs. I don't get it. Anyway. What's the most impressive thing I found today? Well, what's my favorite thing I found? Well, there's these folders called Low Poly DAE. If you know anything about 3D modeling, DAE is a 3D model format. If we take this file, I'll just extract it to here. This is what? Uh, 1007 DAE. Give me one second. If I go to this little website right here, C3D, I can go to my low poly DAE, upload it to the site, and as you can see, I'm going to make it a little brighter so you can see it. As you can see, well, uh, where is it? Aided wireframe. There we go. As you can see, here's the wireframe 3D model of the BMW. Makes it a little easier to tell it's a BMW when you uh, do this. But even on top of this, Unity 3D mainly uses FBX files. So. DAE to FBX online converter this is the one I used. You can also take this and just convert it to FBX or realistically whatever you want. Do STL as well. I have a 3D printer now. I want to try printing these and see what happens. I think that would be so cool. Make them like little 3D models that you can hand paint or get stickers. So here's your FBX, nothing special. I can go in and actually probably view that here as well. Yeah, here's the 3D model of the BMW again. Uh, shaded wireframe, there we go. There you go, FBX file. So there's a lot that I can do with these files, but this doesn't mean that I can remake the game and do this and that and all that. I would love to know who has this server because they also probably have the source code in the game server. So I'm wondering if there is a way to figure out who owns that CloudFront domain and maybe getting in contact with them and trying to host CarTown again. I know it's a long shot. I don't know how to figure out who owns that CloudFront domain because... It's not like a domain viewer or a who is search. Somebody else owns CloudFront. You can't search subdomains for who they who it's owned by. So I'm not really sure what to do. But as you can see, there's also stuff over here that I manually downloaded too. So teeny tiny NSX. <laughs> That's actually a really good looking pixel car, but it's a little too pixeled. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to make an update to keep you guys filled in because I've done a lot with this. I've put probably eight to 10 hours into this now, and I'm to a point where I'm happy with it because if I wanted to now, I can just sit here and open up basic. I can open up these SWF files, and I could put the cars back together. The same way that I've done the 1320 Legend stuff. Although I've realized I'm missing something here. I'm missing the undercarriages. Is it just... Where's the wheels? Oh yeah, wheels were the one thing I couldn't find. Um, I was having issues downloading the wheels because the way they are coded, they not only is there the ID, but there is also um, another thing that I can't find. I'm wondering if 
I can potentially use the prize wheels in some way, but I don't think I can because of the way they show up and I don't have any tires. So, I don't know. I'm sure we can figure out something to do with these files, but realistically, I think they're just going to sit on my hard drive. I'll probably throw these into a zip file, remove my exe and stuff out of every folder, the actual downloader and all that, because nobody else needs that, especially for how terribly it's programmed. Nobody else needs this. I'll probably remove this out of every folder, go in, I'll upload it and release it for everybody. Oh yeah, I can't delete those yet because it's probably still running. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.